the next one of another exercise for us. Um, yeah, so this is just a double page spread, magazine double page spread. You're going to do a lot of these. You've got all the stuff on the Moodle. I'll show you here on the Moodle. Download images for double page spread. All you really need is just the kid one and magazine spread. We'll just download the folder, but just go from there. That's all straightforward. Same again, just put these into a section, put them into a folder, call them whatever you want to call them. Make sure the InDesign's in a folder, the images are normally in a folder called images in that folder, and we'll just go from there. So I'm not going to do this like actually word for word, but we will be doing it because um, you've already done exercises, so this is just some more things that you will know. So we've got file new document. So this is an a, it's A3. It's not really, but it is. So we want A4 double page. So we want two pages of these guys. So we want two pages. So it's a, like A3 folded. We want facing pages, two pages straight up. We'll have 10 mil margin just because we will, or even zero margin. Do that one. So A4, two pages, facing pages, create. Okay, so if you look at your pages menu, you've just got them run down. So what you want to do is you want these to butt next to each other. So in the pages menu up here, allow document pages to shuffle. That's really important. Click on this two and not there, but if you go just to the right of that, you've now you've got a double page spread next to itself. So there's your, it's two pages. So as you do books, they'll run down the page. Like anything that I do, place the background images. So we want this one the background, the magazine spread. So we're going to do this one. So what I'm going to do with this is it's, it's a little bit bigger than A3, but we'll just cut some of the guy off. So just go from the corner down to the A4 size, move it across. So we'll just crop him off at the end, which is all good. So you can pull the box in. So just for this argument's sake, that's it. So there's a few things in this we're going to do. First, you like anything that you do for me, we'll just dole that down a bit. Okay, that's the background or layers, new layer. Lock that layer off, we're gonna work on the top layer. Off you go. So with this text stuff, you will know how to do this, but we're just gonna draw a text box here. Okay, so with this one, we're just gonna put type into it. So type, I've got on the thing, just use placeholder text. So second from the bottom, fill with placeholder text. I'm gonna go Command A, select all that text. Just for argument's sake, we'll do this Helvetica. Helvetica light, it's a roundabout, we're working on roundabouts here, so eight point seems to be right. We'll do some leading between it so it's a bit spaced out. That works well. So what you want to do then, maybe it's nine point just to be safe. So what I'm going to do now is go select all. I'm going to copy that text and just just paste it about four or five times. So you, you know now that this little red guy down here, this box means that there's more text in that box. So what we want to do is click on that red thing and you can see it's given me like a another text box and do the second box and that's going to be your second box and just literally fill that out so just command c command v v v so we'll just get that as close as we can to fit in the bottom and that looks good that's text add a link a text box we're just using dummy text this one for argument's sake we'll put a capital b there so in the first paragraph this works is a drop capital so as long as you're in the first paragraph which ends here we're going to, this comes under the paragraph formatting, which is the P tool. So across here, it might look different on yours, but we'll be fine. So that one, so that's one, two line drop cap, three, four, five. You can have however many lines you want and how many letters you want. Okay, so we just want one letter in this case, and I think it's that many lines. If you want to be really clever, you could condense that one. Already can condense, like already can new, but that's fine what we, we'll just do condense. That's that one. So that's text. All we've done is put text in. If I get rid of this, if I would just link that text box across, that's that one, straight up. These dotted lines across here, I won't do both of them, but when you do do a dotted line, just click on the pen tool, just hold shift down, do a, do a line across. That'll open, you can open up the stroke palette. You can push that out to be thicker. Down here, you can have dash, dotted, all sorts of things. Okay, that's a dotted line straight up something you didn't know before that's just text in a box the by sean one this text down here is a couple of little things with this so we're going to put this in the same box so we'll just draw a box so type i would get you to type this in if you could but just for argument's sake now so i'm going to do that one we'll do heretica for this one just a, a nice sort of so what have we got so heretica oblique so it's just italic 
it's a little bit bigger than that, say 14. So when you get to the bottom, there's a, a couple more words that are going on the end of it. So you've got an enter at the end, just so you know. And down the bottom, we've got So this stuff here, this that is smaller. This is where we're going to use our space after, which you've done previous exercises. Put your cursor in there. Remember, if I say type show hidden characters, there is a red return here. So as long as your cursor's in there, it's paragraph formatted stuff, and you can see from the little diagram here, space after. That will push that line down. So go back into this line, and then this one just comes over to the right, and it's a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so get those in. You've got the text. This the word this word here, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to sound all of my 51 years old and get it wrong, but we'll draw this word. That's just going to be fine. But this one, like Illustrator, just use your pen tool, off you go, just start, literally go through. You don't have that font, so you can you could draw this in Illustrator, but because with in this case, just just kind of so that's going to come across. I'm just going to do, this is stock standard Illustrator stuff, you know, I'm just clicking, clicking, and that one I'm just going to stuff up a bit on purpose, so go back to this one. That closes it. We're going to fill that black. So remember, you can go back in with the direct selection tool, get the one that I've got wrong, and you can just fix that up. So if you can draw all that word across there, maybe group it together when you're done, but that's just straightforward drawing of that one. This one. We're going to do this in Photoshop. We're going to be a bit clever here. So what we're going to do, I've given you this thing. We're going to get rid of the word kid and you're going to put your own in there. So go to Photoshop. So open or file open. This is basic. I know this isn't Photoshop class, but it's just basic Photoshop. Open the kid only one. Okay, the, the JPEG. So just open him. What we want to do is get rid of the word kid. So when I start to muck around with anything, always, always make a copy of the layer. We're going to work on that layer. I even turn that one off, but it's just good. So this is basic Photoshop, but what we're going to do here, there's lots and lots of ways you can do this. We're going to get rid of the kid word. So I'm just going to do a simple marquee around that. So I'm just doing the marquee just simply around this. Okay, then edit. Fill, yours might have, it's normally on black or white, but you want content aware, which is here. So if I go edit, fill, content aware, that'll just, it kind of fills it in vaguely to where it thinks it's going to go. Like it's not perfect. So you can see what it's done there. Like you've got his eye there, I think, or his mouth. So what we're going to, there's lots of ways you can do this. I'm going to click on the patch tool, which is here, patch tool. I'm going to draw a section of his sort of body here. And on the patch tool, you can see the thing. So if I pull that across, it's going to pull some of that across. That's using the patch tool. That's pretty good. I've got this bit here that it's weirded out. So I'm going to use the clone stamp for that one. So click on the clone stamp, hold option down, click there. So I've cloned that area and you can see above it where the little cross is. I'm just going to clone. This is really dodgy Photoshop work, but just for what we're doing, it's great. There's a bit of weirdness here. So I'm going to clone some dark up there. He's got his beads here. I'm going to click on clone from here and you can see that I can run those beads up along there. So I'm going to save this one now, but because it was a JPEG originally, but because I've got an extra layer and I've done stuff to it, um, if I close this file, it's going to ask me to save it and just save it as a PSD file. As a, save it as a Photoshop file because it's got layers and you've done work with it. Okay, so you'll have the original JPEG, kid only PSD, so just save that one. Yep. Okay, so then we go back to InDesign and this one, so this stuff you know, so file place. So the kid only, the Photoshop file, not the JP, because you can see this has got his funny arm. So we're going to put that into here. And what we do now, and so we come across, you can see where he's going to live about there. Just, it's up to you. I mean, it just will, just for argument's sake, we will just use uh, the boxes that big. So I'm going to move him across, use the direct selection tool to move a bit of his face across. So like we did before, if you wanted to change that or if you've got to feel like you've missed a bit of his arm, you can see there using the links palette, kid only. So you, at the moment you've got two links, you've got magazine him, that one. So if I edit that, it'll open it up in Photoshop and if we fix his arm up here, back to the clone stamp. So I'm just fixing this up. 
very badly done, but you can sort of see yours will be much better than mine. So fix that up. All you've got to do is either save that or close it. So if I save that, go back to InDesign, and that's his arm. Really bad Photoshop, but that's done. So with this one, so what we've done is we've set up a document. We've used um, facing pages, allow document pages to shuffle so you can move, move them around. So when you do books, are we going to do more? So it'll go run down, down, down. So that's how that works. But as, as I said, you'll be doing more of these later, much later on. You've got a dotted line. that We could have drawn that in Illustrator and placed it in. It's no, no problem, but it's just as easy to draw it in here. Open with Photoshop, we did Content Aware, we did the Patch Tool, and now we want to save this as a PDF. So if I hide Guides, you can see that it looks quite good. Yours will look much better than mine. That's it. So I want to save this one as a PDF. So just save it normally. So just save as normal, and then it's Export this one. So either a PDF as small as file size, or you can this one. So if same again, we'll go into printing and stuff later on, but just for now, we want small as file size. So this will just the name of the spread into the right spot. So it goes into where it's got to go. So I'm just going to put it here for now. So save. So what you want to do here, you want to put in the just the general settings. That's all we're going to do for now. Save it as spreads. That means it will do the two pages next to each other. And view PDF after exporting. Okay. So we're going to do trim and stuff later on. But just for now, I'm going to export that guy. Just go OK. And that will give you a wonderful PDF of what we're going to do. So that's the next exercise. So there's a few things to cover. There's this type. We're going to draw that, this box, that type, do some Photoshop stuff with him. And you've got a little spin magazine in black down there. But we're going to get it as close as we can to that, teaching you about leading and all sorts of things. Okay. Cheers.